everybody so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another bookish vlog video I feel like the only vlogs I film at the moment are out and about book related videos however I just love book shopping it brings me so much joy I do not need any more books my physical TBR is becoming like insane however I just don't even care at this point I just love it so much so today me and mum are going to pop into town mum's just inside I've banished her from the car so I can film this intro but we're going to pop into town I'm going to have a little look in the bookshops do a little book haul and it's just going to be a cozy town vlog kind of vibe so I hope you guys are excited I do just want to say I am so sorry about the noise of the rain I feel like I'm hoping that the rain is giving off cozy winter ASMR vibes it's July it's supposed to be a scorcher but it's not so I'm really upset about that but anyway today we're gonna pop into town and I'm gonna do some book shopping again I've left my hair natural we are really trying to establish the curl pattern here I don't even know what's going on with it so we're just gonna ignore my hair ignore the rain I hope you guys enjoy this vlog as I've said many a time I want to vlog more this year but so far it's just been book vlogs but I hope you guys enjoy them nonetheless let's go to town let's get a coffee and let's buy some books so let's go I hope you guys enjoy As you can tell by my absolutely poofy frizzball of a hairstyle it is much later now so I think I got in the car around about one o'clock it is now four I was out for a lot longer than anticipated I'm not gonna lie I thought it was gonna be a quick trip to town we ended up popping into town going to M&S going to TK Maxx which by the way if you are into reading you're a book lover you're watching this video and you want some good books go to TK Maxx because I had a little look and they had tons of Colleen Hoover Taylor Jenkins Reid they even had Icebreaker by Hannah Grace as well but I had all of the books that they had in there so I couldn't buy any but they did have some really good ones in there but today I actually picked up four books I feel like this was quite good for me one of them I was really really hoping to find the other three not so much but I just can't say no to a three for two bargain so let's go through the books I bought and I'm just very excited to share them with you I also picked up a coffee from Costa I just fancied another coffee this morning so it's really good as well so love that although the cream is going everywhere all over my hands which is great so now let's move on to the book haul portion of the video so the first place I went to was the works and I wanted to find this particular book because if you guys watched my I think 
book shop with me video from like two or three videos ago you will know that I went into the works in Bristol and I picked up two out of three of this series I couldn't find the third one anywhere and I was trying to sort of rummage on the shelves then but I couldn't really reach so they probably had it then but I just didn't see it and that is Tessa Bailey's Make Me which is part of a three book series the other two are these so you guys can sort of see them on the back there that is the other two which I bought a few weeks ago and I really really wanted to pick this one up so I'm really happy I did really should I say really one more time really um I have honestly no idea what it's about the actual blurb of it is massive so I'm not going to sit and read through that whole thing but if you want to pause it and have a read feel free but yeah I bought two out of three and I thought I need the third one you guys know me I'm a series kind of gal if I pick up one or two of a series I have to complete it so I picked this one up it was £2.50 which I thought was a bit of a bargain um and yeah that's the first book I bought and that was on my list the other three were not so I feel like it's okay I bought one that was on my wish list so I'm allowing it and then we popped into WH Smith's we also popped into Waterstones but there was no books in there apart from one that I actually wanted to buy and that one I actually have on order so I didn't bother picking it up because I have it on order anyway um so I went into WH Smith's and they do a three for two on paperbacks at the moment they used to do a buy two for 12 pounds now it's three for the price of two so it's like three for 19 pounds or something like that and I picked up two and the third one it's raining really hard. I'm really sorry about the rain. It is pouring with rain. It's July. You would think it'd be sunny. But anyway, I picked up two because I've heard really, really incredible things about this author. And I have got no books by this author. And I really wanted to get some. And I saw that these were both in the three for two offer so I picked up those and then picked up one more so the first one I picked up was The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden I've heard some incredible things about this author that I just had to pick this book up because I just I feel left out and I feel like I would need to know what the hype is about I love a good thriller I love a good mystery and apparently these are just binge worthy and there's a lot of plot twists in her books that you don't see coming and I love that so much in a book so I picked this one up if you guys want to have a look at the blurb as well feel free to pause this video I will just put it here so you guys can have a little look I personally will not be reading the back because I hate to spoil book plots I love to go in it blind sometimes that is a good thing and sometimes it's not because it depends on if the book is going to be good or not but yeah I'm really, really excited about it the eye is gross I kind of hate the cover I'm not gonna lie but from what I've heard about this it's really good apparently it's about a maid who um like there's some weird stuff going on in this family and the maid is kind of like seeing all of it I don't know that's kind of all I know about it but I'm really looking forward to giving this one a go um and that one was 9.99 right next to that one I saw this one so I had to pick it up you guys know me I am a collector I am a series completer so I got the housemaid secret as well whether this is part of the same universe or anything like that I have no idea please let me know down below which one do I need to read first which one is there an order can I read either I would love to know and I'd love to know which one was your favorite if you've read both but yeah essentially this is sort of the same thing I guess like a, something to do with a housemaid that probably knows far too much so if you guys want to have a little read feel free I'm really looking forward to this one this one was also oh no this was $8.99 how weird is that 9 99 8 99 very strange um but yeah this one was 8 99 i am very very excited to give this one a go as well and again for some reason the eye like it just the eyes are weird i don't know if i like them or not i wish they were like cartoon or something kind of strange anyway and last but not least i have seen this book so so many times however I didn't pick it up I don't really know why because I had a quick scan of the back and when I say a quick scan I read the first two lines which said he was following me the guy from the nightclub who wouldn't leave me alone instantly I'm drew in I love a good like mystery thriller like vibe I don't know what it is I just love it um and that is how to kill men and get away with it by Katie Brent and I've never picked this one up I've always seen it and thought oh that looks like a really good book but I just thought it's just I don't need it I didn't something about it I just I don't know I just sort of left it but I needed to pick up a third book to go along with those two to be a part of the three for two mum didn't want anything and I was really tempted to buy five survive by holly jackson but the paperback version because i have the signed hardback but i need to get out of the habit of buying books in both so i thought you know what no i'm not doing it i'm not allowing it so i picked up this one instead and i am actually really looking forward to it it sounds really really good i mean from the back do you know what i'm gonna read you the back of this one because it's really small so it says he was following me the guy from the nightclub who wouldn't leave me alone i hadn't intended to kill him of course but i wasn't sorry when i did and despite the mess i made i appeared to get away with it that's where my addiction started i got a taste for revenge and it was quite fresh 
and quite frankly I'm killing it. It just sounds like such a good book. I feel like reading as the murderer just is really interesting to me and I've read a few books where the big plot twist is that you're the killer. I love that. I think it's so good because you don't expect it. Um, but this one, obviously, you know it's going to be. That's going to be the situation. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Um, and yeah, this one was $8.99. But obviously, again, I got them for three for two. So very excited about that. So those are all four of the books I purchased today. I didn't spend that much. I feel like I spent like £21, I think. So I feel like for me, that's reasonably good. Um, not like I needed any more books because I am slowly making my way towards the 300 TBR mark, which is ridiculous and really excitingly me and my friend Becky are going to 66 books or is it 66 books at the beginning of August and I am so so excited if any of you guys are going for next month do let me know um I will be vlogging it I am so excited if you don't know what it is essentially it's a massive book warehouse that opens to the public one weekend every month and all the books are like 70% off which is insane so we're gonna go next month I am so excited it's two weeks today as I'm filming this I will be vlogging as I said so make sure you keep your eyes out for that because there will be a vlog and a haul cannot wait to go so yeah that's essentially what is happening so I need to go on like a book buying ban before that but I also have a load of books on order so there probably will be another book haul coming soon as well so hopefully you're excited about that because you guys know me I'm obsessed with books I'm obsessed with buying books and I'm not even mad about it so <laughs> delicious so that is everything for today's vlog i really hope you guys did enjoy and i feel like i didn't buy as many books as i thought i was going to today i kind of went in thinking i'm gonna buy a few books today but i went into the works and despite there being quite a few books in the three for six pounds i thought maybe could be interesting i just picked up the one i'm really trying to stick to buying books off of my amazon wish list because if you guys haven't seen it it is absolutely ginormous i think if i bought all the books on my amazon wish list i would have a library which is a thousand books books like my book list on Amazon is humongous and I'm not even mad about it like so many of those books I really want to purchase right now but I think I would spend my entire savings on books on Amazon which I cannot do I shouldn't do it no no, I can't. I can't because it'd be ridiculous. I would love to know down below what books have you bought recently? Are there any books on your wish list? Let me know down below. And if you guys ever want to check out mine, it is always in the description. I always leave it there for you guys to have a little browse, see if there's anything you guys like or um, if we have any books in common. I would love to know down below. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please make sure you do. I would really love to hit 11,000 subscribers and I film a lot of book content, lush content, any kind of content I fancy kind of end up on this channel so if you guys want to subscribe i would really appreciate it and that is everything i'm gonna go inside now because it is pouring with rain i need to paint my nails because i'm gonna go and watch barbie tonight so i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys bye.